Sup nerds, Coder SV3 here, and welcome back to Java Tutorials, and today we're going to be learning how to make a doubly linked list. So I'm going to put um, DLL, we'll create a new class. Now, before I say anything about linked lists, it's important to know that they're not like arrays where they have an index. What happens is that linked lists are connected in different ways. But just like the name may suggest, it's like items linked together, like in a chain of some sorts. And a good practical example will probably be, um, or at least just a basic conceptual idea will be maybe like a train line, like a train, like the New York subway, you know, and it can't get to a like, like the subway can't get to a station without passing one before it or whatever. But a better, more concrete example will be like items linked together on the chain. And those items are linked together through nodes and pointers. So when we're working with a linked list class, we're going to do a class node. And if you're wondering what the brackets T thing is, it's just simply so the linked list works in multiple types and it's not hard coded to just one type. Alright, so node T next, node T previous and t data. Now be sure to use a constructor because it's much easier that way when you're adding items to the list and stuff. So next equals null this dot data equals data. Oh, data. Okay, so next what we do is in the main class you do node t head and node t tail and now we have private int size now the first method we obviously have to code is the size method because you don't want people to modify your size variable so public int size it's a method and we do return size Just remember, if you code a method with the int type, you need to return an int type, and since size is an int type, we can do that. We can we, This method works fine. Now we want to do um, add. So public void add. Now add front, actually, because usually with a linked list, especially with a double-A linked list, it's going to be add to the front and add to the end. So t item since we want to work with multiple types. Okay, so what we want to do first is do node t added node equals new node, and you'll see what the constructor is for. Bam! Yeah, see, we have the, this is what the constructor was for, it made it a lot easier. Okay, so if head equals null, we do tail equals added node. I'm gonna do tail equals added node because if the head is null, the list is empty. And we and what we do is that like if if when we add something to an empty list, there's only one item. If we just I made head added node, then like there will be the tail will be null. So we do tail equals added node first. And then we assign tail to head, since it's a one element list, so the head and the tail are practically the same. Next, we do else. For the else statement, we do head.previous equals added node. And the reason why we do that is because if the head is already initialized and we're adding to the front, we kind of want the new head to be the added node. So we do head.previous equals added node. And it all circles back here when we do head equals added node. And then we do our size plus plus. And then add front is done. All right, now we do the same thing except the opposite for add back. And I'll walk you through that. So node t added node equals new node t 
item if tail equals null, you do head equals added node again because if you're adding to the back of the list and it's one item, then the head and the tail will be the same. So, yeah, that's what we do. We do the same thing by opposite. Else tail dot next equals added node. We're adding it like to the back. So tail dot next, like whoever is like behind tail will be the added node. And then it all circles back. And when I say circles back, I'm not talking about a circular linked list. I just wanted to, to give that little disclaimer before you get confused with the message. I'm using circled back um figuratively. So added node, tail equals added node, size plus plus. Okay, I think it's a good time to stop now because this video would be astronomically long if I continued. So, so far, to recap, what we got done was the size method, the add front method, and the add back method, and of course, the node class that made it all possible. If you liked this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell button for notifications to so always know when I upload. Um, and if you sneeze during this video, bless you. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And um, be sure to stay safe, wash your hands, and wear a mask. This is Coder SV3 signing off. Peace.